COVID day was like, I think a large degree of your quality, the quality of your work has to do with concrete and the way you use it as a daily device. Is it so that most of these buildings in Mexico are done with concrete because steel is too expensive and you don't have it? Does this have to do with that fact? Yes, of course. Yes. No, steel is more expensive than concrete. Of course, in Mexico is more expensive. And uh, you cannot afford to make these torches in, in steel in the same time. Have you done any thin shell concrete? Excuse me? Thin, thin shell concrete. Sure. Have you done thin shell? Over the candela. Like candela work? No, we didn't make. I think it's a, the work of Candela is a work they forget and it's not, re, it's not fair, huh? It's very important work from Candela. To what degree do you think concrete has influenced your work? To what degree do you think you have chosen to work that way and then use concrete as a material? Is that, is that a fair question? Well, we, we are comfortable with working with and uh, I think it's, we, we find some technique very appropriate to the, to the media you, you have to work. It's very difficult to work with, with bad handcraft, with poor investment, with cheap materials. Then I think all that combined it conduct us to to work with with uh, concrete and to put these marble chips to to avoid all the sadness of the surface of the concrete and we have uh, like Abraham said a way to hide the problems of the the uh, yes, contractor. It's, it's a practical point. I think it's appropriated to the medium. I don't know if that time was your question. No, it's, it's like the like the gravel, like it's stone. It's instead like of stone. stone. Instead of stone, we. What do you say the? Aggregate. Yeah, Aggregate. Uh, the wastes of the of the marble plants we utilize instead of the of the of the stones. It's the wastes of the the marble plants. Not very well. Will you be so kind to if somebody to to to, to translate? Uh, what do you think about the American architect's obsession with their relation to the past? Oh. Really the new the new obsession with the new yeah. historic. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, it's not the same obsession. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Well, I think uh, North America has a good tradition, a very good tradition of a, a very good architecture in. Uh, 16th century, 17, 18, and 19th century has a good tradition. The tradition of California is very good from the 20s, and it's a good past to, to look. We can learn many things from, from these architects of the 20s, and we can learn many things of the architects of the, of the 19th 
in the East Coast, in North America, very, very good athletes. But we can learn direct things, not, uh, not to try to repeat all the... Uh, I think the subconscious influence is, is very good, but not, not the way they do now many, many people direct. I don't like that. Social, political awareness in Mexico. Social political yes. what? Awareness. <laughs> I think yes, and many people, <laughs> not in all people. <laughs> yes. I think it's very general to the question. Yes, uh, many people with social countries. rephrasing that question because we need only to look to Japan to observe that there's very little relationship between contemporary Japanese architecture and traditional. Now, in this country, I think the question of the phrase, we have passed through many periods from our Revolutionary War days, the 18th century. We had our Cape Cod wood houses, our farmhouses. We, Im we imported from Europe every known style of architecture. In Mexico, is there a relationship now, or is there an influence from the past, 18th, 17th century, to what you're doing now? Any, is anyone in Mexico trying now to copy the past styles as we're trying to do here, perhaps? Yeah. Yes, there, yeah. there are people that always have yeah. to do it, yes. Yes, of uh, course. That's not a trend, is it? It's not the, the trend like here, but uh, there are many people also. Not the, with the, uh, perhaps not with the co coherent philosophy like here. We have, uh, a, I think that in my personal point of view, um, Rufino Tamayo has a sentence about his art that I think is worth to apply to, to our work. He says that the art is universal and only an accent is local. And I think that is also work for us. It's not bad. Uh, <laughs> 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 yes. Uh, Yes. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful, okay. wonderful. Thank you. 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 Very good combination. <laughs> <laughs>